Today we're going to read Skippy John Jones by Judy Schaffner. Every morning, Skippy John Jones woke up with the birds. And this did not please his mother at all. Get yourself down here right now, Mr. Kitten Britches, ordered Mama Junebug Jones. No self-respecting cat ever slept with a flock of birds, she scolded. Or ate worms, or flew, or did his laundry in Miss Doohiggy's bird bath. The lecture went on and on, as usual. You've got to do some serious thinking before you leave this room, Mr. Fuzzy Pants said his mother, about just what it means to be a cat. Not a bird, not a mouse or a grouse, not a moose or a goose, not a rat or a bat. You need to think about just what it means to be a Siamese cat. And stay out of your closet, she added, closing the bedroom door. But once he was alone, Skippy John Jones began to bounce, and bounce, and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I bounce on my bed, and once or six times, I land on my head. On his way down to earth from a gigantic big bounce, Skippy John Jones shot past his bedroom mirror. Holy guacamole! exclaimed Skippy John Jones. What was that? So up again he went, and again it appeared. Then, using his very best Spanish accent, he said, My ears are too big for my head. My head is too big for my body. I am not a Siamese cat. I am a Chihuahua. Back on land, Skippy John Jones climbed into his toy box and rifled through some of his old junk. After he put on his mask and sword and climbed onto his mouth, Skippy John Jones began to sing in a mooey, mooey soft voice. My name is Skippito Frisquito. I fear not a single bandito. My manners are mellow. I'm sweet like the jello. I get the job done, yes indeedo. Back in the kitchen, Jujubee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo Jones were helping Mama Junebug Jones make lunch. Can Skippy John come out of his room now? Asked Jujubee. No, answered Mama Junebug Jones. Mr. Fluffernutter is still thinking. In fact, Skippy John wasn't thinking about being a Siamese cat at all. With a walk into his closet, his thoughts took him down a lonesome desert road far, far away in old Mexico. Not long into his journey, a mysterioso band of chihuahuas appeared out of the dust. Ay, caramba, who goes there? asked Skippy John Jones. We go by the name of Los Chimichangos, growled Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones. Who are you? I am El Scapito, the great sword fighter, said Skippy John Jones. Then the smallest of the small ones spoke up. Why the mosquito, dude? said Paquito Tito. I go incognito, said Scapito. Do you like rice and beans? asked Pintolito. See, I love mice and beans, said Scapito. He might be the dog of our dreams, whispered Rosalita. Perhaps, said Tia Mia, if he knows the secret password. Leaning toward Don Diego, El Scapito half sneezed, half spoke the secret password into the Chihuahua's very large ear. ha choo Bless you, said Don Diego. Gracias, said Scapito. Then it is true, decreed Don Diego. Yip, yippee, yippito. It's the end of Alfredo Bazito. Scapito is here. We have nothing to fear. Adios to the bad Bumblebeeto. Then all the chimichangos went crazy loco. First, they had a fiesta. Then, they took a siesta. But after waking up, the chimichangos got down to serious business. Using his paw, Don Diego drew a picture in the sand of the great Bumblebeeto for Scapito to see. A hush grew over the chimichangos so great that one could hear a whisker drop. Alfredo Bazito whispered the crowd, 
El Vlimpo Bandido Bombido. Si, sí, said Poquito Tito. The Bandido steals all our frijoles. Not your beans, cried Scapito outraged. Si, sí, Paquito continued. Red beans, black beans, Boston baked and blue, cocoa coffee kidney beans, pinto, and jelly too. And now he comes for us, Paquito added. Por qué? asked Scapito. Because we are full of beans too. Then Don Diego stood tall and in his most somber voice declared, Yo quiero frijoles. Huh? asked Capito. The dude just wants his beans back, said Paquito Tito. And you are the dog for the job. Me? asked Capito. Then all the other chimichangos turned towards Capito, the great sword fighter. But poor Scapito had no time for a plan because in the blink of an eye, a gigantic shadow darkened the landscape. The chimichangos scattered in all directions. Vamos, Scapito, or it is you the bandito will eat -o, they cried. Scapito stood his ground, but his legs shimmied and shook, like the jello and his teeth chattered like castanets. Then, in a mooly mooly soft voice, he said, my name is Scapito Frasquillo. I fear not a single bandito. But Alfredo Buzzito flew straight for Scapito until the bean-eating bandito hovered only inches away from the great sword fighter's face. Holy frijoles! cried Scapito as he thrust his sword into the air. Suddenly, pop! went the bandito, landing on Scapito's sword and quicker than one could say chihuahuas, cheese, and crackers. Every kind of bean began spilling out of Alfredo Bazito, the bumblebeeto bandito. Then all the doggies burst into song. Yip, yippee, yippito. Our hero is El Scapito. He's the dog of our dreams who delivered the beans and now we can make our burritos. But back home, there was such a ruckus coming from Skippy John's room that Mama Junebug Jones and the girls just had to find out what was going on. They raced down the hall to the kitty boy's room. Bangito, Crashito, Popito, Skippito. Just in time to see Skippy John's closet exploding. Then out flew Candy, Beanbag Doggies, and the kitty boy with his birthday pinata on his head. Skippy John Jones, everyone cried. Hola mochitas, he said in a mooey mooey soft voice. Mama Junebug Jones lifted up Skippy John and covered his head with furry purry kisses. What am I going to do with you, Mr. Coco Pugs? She scolded. That night, when he was supposed to be going to sleep, Skippy John began to bounce and bounce on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones with a mind of my own, and I'll bounce on my bed for hours. I know I'm a cat, but forget about that. Say goodnight, Skippy John Jones, called his mama. Buenos noches, mis amigos, said Skippy John Jones. Thanks for joining me, little ducks. Let's read again soon.